Hello, in today's quick tip video we're going to look at a feature called the delta function and it gives you the opportunity of being able to analyze between two points on the measures graph to be able to understand uh, the impact of particular actions that have been taken by the driver on track and so I'm going to open up Race Studio Analysis here and I'm actually using iRacing data this is from Brands Hatch Indy in an RT2000 Skip Barber car but it would be applicable to any data that you might have and what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to have a look at the impact that has happened between two points. Now those two points could be something you've set up in the track map or um, how you've segmented your overall view. But sometimes you just want to be able to pick two particular points. And so up here in the top right hand side there's this uh, red triangle. And if you hover over it it calls it the, the delta on and off and it's a toggle switch. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to see something that's happened on track that I can actually measure. And so one of the things that I want to be able to have a look at here is this particular point on track that if I were to open up the track map here, you can see if I click here, it's at the Druids corner uh, at Brands Hatch. And so um, we can see from the time distance that this is the particular point on track where there's a significant change in terms of performance between the two laps. So one thing I can do is I can just click here and I can start to calculate, well, that looks about, you know, two tenths or so in terms of a difference. But what I could also do is I could use this delta function by switching it on here and I can drag the mouse. And as you can see, I drag the mouse between those particular points. It will allow us to be able to see certain measures against it. So I want to be able to start it at the beginning of the breaking point as um, you know uh, the driver's coming in and slowing down. And then I want to be able to end it at the point where this time delta loss in this example sort of evens out. And so what I can do now is I can see certain pieces of information that are associated between the differences between the two points. Now, sometimes that information is or isn't useful. And so you can see here that the distant difference between speed from this point and this point is relatively consistent between the two laps, that it's about 26 miles an hour difference um, uh, less from here to here. Not as useful in this particular example, but the area that I personally use this the most is the difference in terms of point of time lost or gained between those particular points. And so if I go down here to the time dif distance, I can see from this point here to this point here, which is the transition through Druids uh, at Brands Hatch, the difference in time between the two laps is three tenths of a second. And so I can see that in this area here that it's measured the time distance difference between these two particular areas. That is hugely important to be able to understand the impact of a lap because when you're dealing with laps that are within a tenth of each other uh, in any given time and the same thing with your competition, a three tenth difference in a lap is huge. You want to be able to understand why that's happening. Then you can dig into the data and have a look at that information. In this instance, I don't even need to zoom in to be able to see that the blue lap here used the brakes a lot harder to be able to overslow the car and the red lap carried better speed through. And that's one of the areas of this difference here. Not only to mention that that's also uphill, so there may also be some uh, gravity effect as well, slowing the car and overslowing it even more. So an interesting dynamic to be able to have a look at, a great feature, you can turn it on. And, and as I said, just a quick reminder, this is a toggle switch. So you have to turn it off again, otherwise it'll be there all the time. But it's a very useful tool to be able to understand the difference between two points on the track and be able to understand if there are areas you really want to focus on to be able to dig into the driver input. So hope you found this one useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you like. If there are other quick tips you'd like, please write in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe. Really appreciate you watching.